Today, day 19. So for today's vlog, I wanted to talk about art supplies because I love art supplies. I love getting art supplies even though I don't always use them up before I get more, but I just want to talk a little bit about my favorite types of art supplies. I do like painting a lot, so I have a whole thing of little kit of paints. Um, I got this for a painting class and I kind of just kept it. It keeps all my paints together. So I'll just, and it has like a little thing up here where you can put your pencils and pa other paint brushes and like erasers or whatever other little bits and bobs and things that you want to keep separated from the main compartment. Talk a little bit about the paints that I have and dirty rags. Palette knife, that's always good to have. I have medium varnish. You put this on the painting after you're done with it and it makes it all glossy. This is just a medium one. You can mix it in with the paint too and it prolongs the um, like the drying time and the glossiness and it helps the paint flow better. And I'll just go through these quick. I have a black, just a Li Liquitex. I have titanium white, yellow oxide, which is like a mustard color, a yellow medium, brown, burnt sienna. It's a nice dark um, red brown, reddish brown color. I have a crimson, aquamarine blue. It's more of a purple blue instead of like a true blue. And then I have another blue, a turquoise. It's turquoise and then the turquoise is more green, green blue shade because I'm not going to be able to say that name. What is that even? Uh, I, I can't say this one either, but it's a red color and it's a anthroquinine. I don't know, it's, it's this red one. <laughs> and this one's a M. Graham one. I think I, uh, the turquoise is that too because I didn't have these two. For my painting class we had to have two different reds and two different blues and I didn't have these two so I got them in a different kind of paint. And now my box is completely empty. <laughs> that was that was everything in it. I like these paints. These are these are good paints. I like them even though they're they are quite small and they and you go through them pretty quick if you do a lot of painting. Um, like I used up my black pretty fast when I was taking the painting class in college. So my so my paint brushes, I'll just mention them quickly because they're not really all that special. I just keep them in this little glass jar. I have a few longer ones. I think these two came with that set of paints that I got. It's like a flat one and then a round one. I got a set of all these ones with blue handles and these are nice too. I like these They're from Michaels in a set with the blue handles. And they're okay. They don't shed. It's so annoying when brushes shed all over your paper and it's just like you have to pick pick the little hairs out and it's, it's really annoying. But I haven't had any problems with these yet. Although I'm not too rough with my brushes. So another one of my favorite mediums is ink. I like I like pens a lot. I don't really like pencil too much. It smudges too much and I kind of get used to it after a while. But I went to pen and I just, I prefer it more. I use it more often than my charcoal pencil. So I got this set of pens that I really like. These black, um... Faber Castile pens. Although you really have to be careful because if you press too hard on it, uh, on the paper, it tends to just run out. And if you don't, and if you like, are really rough with it, they tend to die out faster. And that's kind of annoying. All of these were in a set, and. I really like them. I really like the smaller one. They're like felt tip pen. The ones that have the like bigger brushes on them, longer brushes, they tend to not show up as dark when I draw 
and then I just have to go over it again. Um, that's the only complaint I have with them. Like, the larger brushes, or the lar larger felt tip pens aren't as dark. Like, if I use a small one, it, there's no problem. It just, it shows up black. I really like pens. Pens are, like, my favorite at the moment, besides painting. When I like to do watercolors, I go to my set that I have. I think I got this when I was, like, 15 or 16. It has a bunch of colored pencils, which I like. Um, I don't use them, I don't use, um, colored pencil that much. Usually just when I do, like, uh, cards, when I make cards for people, then it has an eraser and two pencils and some sandpaper and a, a, a sharpener that I keep in, like, a little pencil bag. Then it has pastels. These are, like, these are oil pastels. They aren't chalky. And then I have watercolors. This is the watercolor set I use. It's not too fancy. Just like a bunch of uh, primary colors and earth tones and then pastel colors and it also has two brushes in here too although they're kind of all worn down but I still get good use out of them this is the only watercolor set I have so fancy <laughs> not really but it works for me and another thing that I really like is Mod Podge I got a big jar of it it's just kind of like glue. Although this one's glossy, I like to do Mod Podge. Mod Podge. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge. Was that five times? I like to do Mod Podge type projects and this will last me quite a bit. Tell me in the comments what kind of art supplies you like to use and what kinds are your favorites. Favorite types of things that you use to create. I'd love to find out what other people use. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.